Have you ever found yourself agreeing to things you later regretted? In the next few minutes, I guarantee if you challenge yourself to commit to watching this video to the end, you will never be manipulated again. Imagine standing at a crossroads in life where every direction promises success but demands a price. Now, picture a figure calm and composed, unaffected by the cacophony of voices trying to sway his judgment. How do you think does this figure manage to remain so steadfast and unperturbed? In this chapter of Stoicism, we'll uncover the secrets to achieving such unshakable inner peace. Join us on this enlightening journey by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode in our series on Stoicism. Your path to personal freedom and wisdom begins today. Take the first step towards becoming that calm, composed figure at the crossroads of life. Lesson 1. Know what you can control. External influences are factors and stimuli in our environment that have the potential to affect our decisions, emotions and general well-being. These can range widely from the people we interact with, such as family, friends and colleagues, to broader societal pressures like media, cultural norms and societal expectations. Work-related stress, social media consumption and even the climate or weather can significantly impact our mental state and decision-making processes. Recognizing these external influences is the first step in learning how to respond to them in a way that aligns with our internal values and goals, rather than being swayed unconsciously by their presence. Focusing on internal responses requires a deliberate shift in perspective, directing our attention inwards to our thoughts, emotions and actions. It's about acknowledging that while we may not have control over the external events or influences that occur in our lives, we do have the power to control how we react to them. This means developing a mindful awareness of our internal state, asking ourselves why we feel a certain way and deciding how we want to respond. By cultivating this level of self-reflection and self-regulation, we can maintain a sense of calm and clarity in the face of challenges, reducing the likelihood of being swayed by external pressures. Developing this skill is key to building resilience and achieving a stoic mindset, empowering us to remain true to our values and goals despite the noise and distractions of the external world. Differentiating between external influences and our internal responses is a fundamental skill in practicing Stoicism. This process involves a conscious effort to categorize experiences as either external, which we cannot control, or internal, which we can. For instance, we cannot control the actions of others, the outcome of most events, or the global state of affairs. However, we can control our interpretation of these events, our reactions, and the actions we decide to take in response. Developing this discernment is crucial for maintaining tranquility and effectiveness in our daily lives. It enables us to focus our energy and attention on what truly matters and is within our control, instead of being consumed by worry or frustration over uncontrollable circumstances. This clarity of thought and purpose is what empowers individuals to lead lives marked by genuine contentment and purpose, embodying the stoic ideal of inner peace amidst external chaos. Lesson 2. The Power of Pause The importance of taking a moment to reflect before responding cannot be understated in the practice of Stoicism. This pause creates a vital space between stimulus and response, offering us the opportunity to reflect on our next steps consciously. Rather than reacting on impulse, which is often fueled by raw emotion or immediate judgments, this moment of reflection allows us to consider our principles, the potential outcomes of our responses, and whether these align with our long-term goals and values. By implementing this pause, we engage the rational part of our mind, enabling us to respond in a manner that is measured, deliberate, and in harmony with our stoic beliefs. This simple yet profound practice is a powerful tool in maintaining control over our actions and emotions, ensuring that we respond to life's challenges with wisdom and integrity. Pausing before taking action plays a critical role in preventing impulsive decisions, effectively serving as a mental checkpoint that reinforces self-control. 
When we act on impulse, we are often driven by immediate emotions or fleeting desires, bypassing rational evaluation and long-term consideration. These impulsive reactions can lead to choices that we might later regret, as they might not align with our broader goals or values. However, by incorporating a deliberate pause, we grant ourselves the time to process the situation fully, engage our rational thinking, and weigh the potential consequences of our actions. This pause acts as a buffer against the immediacy of our impulses, allowing us to respond rather than react. It's a practical application of Stoic philosophy that emphasizes the importance of mastering our emotions and desires through reasoned thought. By practicing this pause, we develop a habit of self-reflection and restraint, which over time strengthens our self-control and ability to make decisions that are in harmony with our core principles and objectives. Practical tips for implementing a pause in daily interactions are essential for those seeking to cultivate a more reflective and controlled response to the world around them. One effective method is the practice of deep breathing. Before responding to any situation, take a few deep breaths to center yourself and clear your mind. This simple technique can help to slow down your immediate reaction, allowing space for a more thoughtful approach. Another tip is to count to 10 in your head before speaking or acting. This brief interval can provide crucial time for consideration and help prevent impulsive reactions. Additionally, adopting the habit of asking oneself questions like, will this matter in a year? Or is this response in line with my values? Can guide more deliberate and meaningful interactions. Finally, cultivating mindfulness through regular meditation or mindfulness exercises can improve your ability to remain present and composed, further empowering you to master the pause in daily activities. These strategies, when practiced consistently, can transform how we engage with the world, leading to more mindful, stoic responses that align with our deepest values and beliefs. Lesson 3. Set Personal Boundaries Understanding the significance of personal boundaries for mental and emotional well-being is fundamental to leading a harmonious and fulfilling life. Personal boundaries serve as guidelines, rules or limits that a person creates to identify for themselves what are reasonable, safe and permissible ways for other people to behave towards them and how they will respond when someone steps beyond those limits. These boundaries help individuals communicate their needs and preferences clearly, assert personal space and values, and ensure mutual respect in relationships. By setting and honoring personal boundaries, individuals not only protect their self-esteem and maintain self-respect, but also foster healthier relationships and a more positive social interaction. In essence, personal boundaries are crucial for emotional regulation, helping individuals avoid feelings of resentment or discomfort, and promoting a sense of safety and security in their interactions with the world around them. Techniques for clearly defining and communicating your limits to others are vital for establishing healthy personal boundaries. One effective approach is to begin with self-reflection, understanding your own needs, values and limits. Once you have a clear understanding of what you are comfortable with, it becomes easier to communicate these boundaries clearly and assertively to others. Employing I statements can be a powerful way to express your feelings and expectations without blaming or accusing the other person. For example, saying I feel overwhelmed when I don't have time for myself in the evenings instead of you always take up all of my time in the evenings. Additionally, being direct and specific about what is acceptable and what isn't can help prevent misunderstandings. Regularly revisiting and, if necessary, adjusting your boundaries with others can ensure that they remain relevant and respected. It's also important to practice saying no in situations that feel uncomfortable or when requests go beyond your limits. Remember, setting boundaries is not a sign of selfishness. It's a form of self-respect and a crucial step in building healthy, mutual relationships. Maintaining boundaries is a powerful defense against manipulation and a significant stress reducer. When we establish clear boundaries, we communicate to others our limits and expectations, which helps prevent others from taking advantage of us or placing undue demands on our time and energy. This clarity dissuades manipulative behaviors by setting firm ground rules for how we allow ourselves to be treated. 
Individuals who understand and respect their boundaries are less likely to fall prey to guilt-tripping, coercion and other forms of manipulation because they have a secure sense of what is acceptable and what is not in their interactions. Furthermore, by enforcing personal boundaries, we significantly reduce stress levels. Stress often arises from overcommitment, lack of personal time and the feeling of being undervalued or not respected. Boundaries help mitigate these stresses by ensuring we have the space to engage in self-care, pursue our interests and spend time with loved ones without feeling overwhelmed by external demands. This protection from stress not only improves our mental and emotional well-being, but also enhances our capacity to contribute positively to our relationships and perform effectively in various aspects of life. Lesson 4. The Freedom of Indifference Recognizing that not all opinions matter, especially those that don't align with your values, is crucial for developing personal autonomy and resilience. In a world inundated with feedback from myriad sources, social media, workplace evaluations, friend groups and family, it becomes imperative to sift through this barrage of viewpoints with discretion. Not every critique warrants your attention, nor does every commendation validate your actions. Aligning your self-perception and priorities with core values, rather than external judgments, fosters a sense of inner stability and confidence. By doing so, you safeguard your mental well-being against the volatility of others' opinions, which are often more reflective of their perspectives and insecurities than of your worth or capabilities. This discernment encourages a healthier, more productive approach to feedback, where only constructive criticism that resonates with your personal growth goals is given consideration. The liberating effect of being indifferent to criticism and praise alike cannot be overstated. This approach to external feedback can significantly enhance an individual's emotional freedom and psychological resilience. When you develop an indifference to both criticism and praise, you effectively free yourself from the often unbearable weight of seeking validation or fearing disapproval from others. This detachment does not imply a lack of care for improvement or relationships. Instead, it represents a focused concern on self-assessment and personal growth that is not dictated by the fluctuating opinions of those around you. Achieving this state of emotional independence allows for a more authentic expression of oneself, as actions and decisions are guided by internal convictions and personal values rather than the prospect of external rewards or the fear of negative judgments. This autonomy in valuing one's self-worth independently of external evaluation cultivates a stronger sense of self and fortifies an individual against the impacts of both unwarranted critique and superficial adulation. Strategies for developing a selective concern for feedback are centered around cultivating a mindset that prioritizes personal growth and improvement over external validation. One practical approach is to establish clear personal and professional goals that align with your core values. This step provides a benchmark against which feedback can be measured, allowing you to discern whether the input you receive propels you towards your objectives. Another effective strategy is to seek feedback proactively from trusted sources, individuals who understand your goals, values, and the context of your efforts. This selective solicitation ensures that the feedback is relevant, constructive, and aligned with your path to improvement. Equally important is developing the skill of constructive reflection. After receiving feedback, take the time to assess its value critically. Ask yourself whether the feedback is actionable, objective, and pertinent to your growth. Reflecting constructively enables you to filter out noise and focus on insights that genuinely contribute to your development. Lastly, practice gratitude for the feedback, recognizing it as an opportunity for growth, regardless of its immediate applicability. This mindset fosters a positive approach to receiving and implementing feedback, making you more open to learning from various experiences and perspectives. Adopting these strategies can create a robust framework for engaging with feedback selectively and effectively, ensuring it serves as a catalyst for personal and professional growth, rather than a source of distraction or discouragement. Lesson 5. Practice Reflection Introducing the habit of daily reflection into your routine serves as a powerful tool for personal development and self-awareness. 
By allocating time each day to contemplate your decisions and actions, you create a structured opportunity for self-assessment and introspection. This practice enables you to identify patterns in your behavior, recognize achievements and areas for improvement, and make more deliberate choices moving forward. Reflecting on your day can help uncover the underlying motivations behind your actions, offering clarity and insight into your personal values and goals. Furthermore, daily reflection encourages a proactive approach to life, empowering you to take responsibility for your actions and their outcomes, rather than merely reacting to external circumstances. Self-reflection is pivotal in recognizing and correcting behaviors that make us susceptible to manipulation. By engaging in honest self-assessment, individuals can identify personal vulnerabilities, such as a high need for approval or fear of conflict, which manipulators often exploit. This self-awareness allows for the development of strategies to strengthen emotional boundaries and assertiveness skills. Reflecting on past interactions where manipulation occurred can reveal patterns in the manipulator's approaches and our responses to them. Armed with this knowledge, we can better anticipate and neutralize manipulation tactics, effectively reducing our susceptibility. Furthermore, self-reflection encourages the cultivation of a more robust sense of self-worth that is not reliant on external validation, diminishing a manipulator's ability to use our insecurities against us. Through consistent self-reflection, individuals not only increase their resilience against manipulation, but also foster greater autonomy in their thoughts and actions, leading to healthier interpersonal dynamics. Techniques for enhancing one's reflective practice are manifold, with journaling and meditation standing out as particularly effective methods for fostering learning and personal growth. Journaling offers a tangible way to record thoughts, experiences and insights, serving as a mirror reflecting one's inner mental states and patterns over time. By writing regularly, individuals can track their progress towards goals, articulate challenges and achievements, and clarify their thoughts and emotions. This process not only aids in personal reflection, but also enhances self-expression and problem-solving skills. Meditation, on the other hand, cultivates mindfulness and presence, essential components of a reflective practice. Through meditation, Individuals learn to observe their thoughts and feelings without judgment, allowing for a deeper understanding of their mental and emotional processes. This mindful awareness creates a space for introspection, where one can confront and assess their actions and motivations with greater clarity and calmness. Incorporating meditation into daily routines can significantly improve focus, reduce stress, and promote a heightened state of awareness, contributing to a more profound and insightful reflective practice. Together, journaling and meditation provide complementary approaches to self-reflection. Where journaling externalizes and organizes thoughts, meditation internalizes and observes them, offering a holistic framework for personal development and self-discovery. Lesson six, cultivate emotional intelligence. The role of emotional intelligence in understanding and managing your emotions effectively cannot be overstated. Emotional intelligence, or EQ, refers to the ability to perceive, control, and evaluate emotions, both in oneself and in others. This invaluable skill set enables individuals to recognize their emotional states, understand what is driving them, and decide how to manage these emotions in a way that is beneficial to their well-being and conducive to achieving their goals. By fostering self-awareness, emotional intelligence allows for the identification of emotions as they arise, providing the opportunity to respond rather than react impulsively. Furthermore, EQ plays a critical role in enhancing interpersonal relationships through improved understanding and empathy. Recognizing and respecting the emotions of others can lead to more effective communication, conflict resolution, and the ability to influence or persuade empathetically. Additionally, emotional intelligence is pivotal in stress management, offering strategies to cope with emotional upheaval through self-regulation techniques. Cultivating a high degree of emotional intelligence empowers individuals to navigate the complexities of social interactions and personal challenges with grace, leading to increased personal satisfaction and professional success.
Having a higher level of emotional intelligence, EQ, significantly enhances an individual's ability to detect and respond to manipulative tactics and emotional appeals. This keen perceptiveness stems from the EQ's core components, which include the ability to accurately perceive emotions in oneself and others, utilize emotions to facilitate thinking, understand emotional meanings, and effectively manage emotions. Individuals with high EQ are adept at discerning the subtle emotional manipulation often embedded in communication, whether it's recognizing insincerity in flattery or identifying undue pressure in guilt tripping. These individuals can see beyond the surface of interpersonal exchanges, picking up on discrepancies between words and body language or tone, which might signal manipulative intent. By understanding the emotional underpinnings of these tactics, they can maintain emotional distance and objectivity, preventing reactive decisions based on manipulated feelings. Furthermore, their proficiency in managing their emotions allows them to counter manipulation calmly and assertively. Higher emotional intelligence thus acts as a safeguard, enabling individuals to recognize when their emotional responses are being deliberately targeted and to choose how to respond in ways that protect their interests and well-being. Strategies for developing emotional intelligence are diverse, with active listening, empathy and recognizing emotional triggers being key aspects of honing this crucial skill. Active listening involves giving full attention to the speaker, understanding their message and responding thoughtfully, which fosters mutual respect and understanding in interactions. It's not merely about hearing words, but also about noticing non-verbal cues and emotions behind the spoken words, allowing for a deeper connection and comprehension between individuals. Empathy a fundamental component of emotional intelligence entails the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. It goes beyond mere sympathy to actively imagining oneself in someone else's situation, fostering a genuine understanding of their emotions and perspectives. This empathetic stance promotes tolerance, patience and the ability to connect with others on a meaningful level, facilitating stronger and more positive relationships. Recognizing emotional triggers, another essential strategy, involves identifying specific people, situations or events that evoke strong emotional responses. Understanding what triggers these responses and why enables individuals to anticipate and manage their reactions more effectively. This introspective work helps in breaking down reactive patterns and replacing them with more thoughtful, considered responses, leading to better self-regulation and emotional stability. By integrating these strategies into daily life, individuals can significantly enhance their emotional intelligence, leading to improved self-awareness, social skills, and the ability to manage stress and emotions in a healthy, constructive manner. Lesson 7. Assertive Communication Understanding the differences between passive, aggressive, and assertive communication styles is crucial for effective interpersonal interactions. Passive communicators often struggle to express their needs and feelings directly, opting instead to agree with others or to remain silent in order to avoid conflict. This can lead to feelings of resentment or a sense that their needs are not being met. Conversely, aggressive communicators tend to express their opinions and needs in a way that violates the rights of others. Their approach is often confrontational and can lead to damaged relationships and escalated conflicts. Assertive communication, on the other hand, strikes a balance between the passive and aggressive styles. Assertive individuals are able to express their thoughts, feelings and needs in a clear and respectful manner, without infringing on the rights of others. This communication style is characterized by openness, honesty and directness, but also empathy and respect for the other person's perspective. Adopting an assertive communication style facilitates healthier relationships as it allows for the expression of one's own needs while still considering and respecting the needs and rights of others. The benefits of employing assertive communication are manifold, significantly impacting personal and professional relationships. It empowers individuals to express their needs and opinions confidently and respectfully, ensuring that their voices are heard and considered. By communicating assertively, a person is more likely to achieve their desired outcomes without resorting to manipulation or succumbing to the aggressive tactics of others. 
This style fosters a sense of self-respect and respect for others, leading to more constructive and satisfying interactions. Assertiveness promotes clarity and directness, which can reduce misunderstandings and conflicts, creating a positive environment where dialogue and compromise can thrive. Furthermore, it enhances one's ability to handle criticism and to stand up for oneself in challenging situations, thereby building stronger, more resilient relationships. Practical techniques for enhancing assertive communication skills are vital for anyone looking to reduce misunderstandings and minimize the likelihood of being manipulated. One highly effective method is the use of I statements. This involves framing your responses and feelings from your own perspective rather than making accusatory statements. For example, saying, I feel frustrated when meetings start late instead of, you are always late to meetings, places the focus on your feelings and opens up a space for constructive dialogue without placing blame. Active listening is another critical technique for developing assertiveness. It requires giving your undivided attention to the speaker, acknowledging their message and responding appropriately. This not only conveys respect and empathy, but also ensures that you fully understand the other person's point of view before responding. By engaging in active listening, you reduce the risk of misunderstandings and demonstrate a willingness to consider the other person's perspective, which can prevent conflicts and facilitate a more assertive exchange of views. Together, I statements and active listening form the backbone of assertive communication. They encourage openness and honesty, while also promoting a respectful and empathetic dialogue. By practicing these techniques, Individuals can foster an environment where both parties feel heard and respected, leading to more productive and positive interactions. Lesson 8. Learn to say no. Understanding the importance of saying no is critical in preserving personal energy and maintaining one's priorities. In a world that constantly demands our time and attention, the ability to set boundaries by saying no is a vital skill for managing our well-being and happiness. When we fail to say no, we often find ourselves overcommitted and under stress, leading to burnout and resentment. Saying no is not just about rejecting requests or opportunities, it's about making mindful choices about what we invest our time and energy in. It allows us to focus on our goals, values and personal growth by ensuring that we are not distracted or spread too thin. Recognizing that our resources, time, energy, and attention are limited and precious helps us priorities actions that align with our most important aspirations and responsibilities. By valuing our own time and commitments, we set a foundation for living more intentionally and fulfilling. The psychological barriers to saying no are deeply rooted in common human emotions and social dynamics. One significant barrier is the fear of missing out, FOMO, where individuals worry that declining an opportunity or invitation will lead to regret over missing a potentially rewarding experience. This fear can make it challenging to say no, even when an activity doesn't align with one's personal goals or current priorities. Guilt is another powerful emotion that impedes our ability to refuse requests. It often stems from a sense of obligation or the desire not to disappoint others, leading to a reluctance to say no for fear of seeming unkind or unsupportive. Additionally, the innate desire to be liked and accepted plays a crucial role. Many people worry that saying no will damage their relationships or reputation believing that agreeableness is key to being valued and appreciated by others. These psychological barriers create a complex interplay of emotions that can make the simple act of saying no feel fraught with difficulty and potential consequences. Overcoming these psychological barriers requires a mindful approach and practical strategies to assert oneself confidently and respectfully. Start small. Begin with low-risk situations where saying no has minor consequences. This practice builds your confidence over time, making it easier to refuse in more significant matters. Be clear and concise. Clarity is key. Respond with a simple and direct no or I can't commit to this right now. 
Avoid over-explaining or making excuses, as this can invite negotiation or guilt-tripping. Offer alternatives. When possible, provide an alternative suggestion. If you cannot participate in a requested activity or task, recommend a different time, place, or someone who could fulfill the request. Use the sandwich method. Frame your refusal between two positive statements or compliments. This technique can soften the impact of a no, making it more palatable for the other person. Practice self-reflection. Regularly reflect on your priorities and limits. Knowing what truly matters to you helps in making decisions that align with your values and long-term goals. Set clear boundaries. Clearly define your limits to others and yourself. Knowing your boundaries makes it easier to communicate them firmly and respectfully. Stay consistent. Consistency in your responses reinforces your boundaries. People will come to respect your time and priorities more when they see your consistency in saying no. By employing these strategies, individuals can navigate complex emotional landscapes and societal expectations, making it possible to say no with confidence and clarity. This not only preserves personal integrity and priorities, but also fosters healthier relationships built on mutual respect and understanding. The strategies provided above are designed to empower individuals to overcome the psychological barriers that prevent them from saying no, allowing them to prioritize their well-being and stay aligned with their values and limitations. Saying no is an essential skill for maintaining healthy boundaries and ensuring you do not overextend yourself. By starting small, being clear and concise, Offering alternatives, using the sandwich method, practicing self-reflection, setting clear boundaries and staying consistent, you can cultivate the confidence needed to assert your needs respectfully and effectively. In addition to these strategies, it's important to remind oneself of the value of personal time and energy. Recognizing that every yes to someone else might mean a no to your personal needs, goals or relaxation, is crucial. Furthermore, practicing self-compassion and understanding that you cannot please everyone all the time will help mitigate feelings of guilt or fear of being judged. Surrounding yourself with supportive individuals who respect your boundaries can also make it easier to assert them. Ultimately, saying no is not just about rejecting requests. It's about affirming your right to prioritize your time and energy in ways that serve your well-being and fulfill your commitments to yourself and your most valued relationships. Lesson 9. Detach from outcomes. Focusing on the effort rather than the outcome is a crucial mindset for personal growth and mental well-being. This approach emphasizes the process over the end result, acknowledging that many factors influencing outcomes are often outside our control. By valuing the effort, we celebrate the hard work, perseverance and dedication invested in a task, regardless of its outcome. This perspective helps to build resilience as it shifts our evaluation of success from what is often an unpredictable result to something we can control, our input and commitment. Acknowledging that we can't control every variable teaches us to be more adaptable and forgiving of ourselves when things don't go as planned. It encourages a growth mindset where the focus is on learning and improvement rather than on the final success or failure of an endeavor. This shift in focus from outcome to effort can significantly reduce pressure and anxiety allowing us to engage more fully in the present moment and enjoy the process of working towards our goals. By learning to detach from outcomes, we free ourselves from the crippling fear of not meeting certain standards or expectations. This liberation is crucial in a world where outcomes are unpredictable and often outside our control. 
It helps in cultivating a mindset that focuses on the present and the effort put forth, rather than obsessing over future results. This shift in perspective reduces the mental and emotional strain associated with the unknown as it allows individuals to find value and satisfaction in the effort itself, regardless of the outcome. Furthermore, detachment from outcomes shields individuals from being manipulated by the fear of failure or the promise of success. In environments where outcomes are emphasized over effort, Individuals can be easily swayed by external incentives or threats. This can lead them to pursue goals not aligned with their values or well-being. By prioritizing effort over outcomes, individuals can make choices based on intrinsic motivation and personal growth, leading to more authentic and fulfilling paths. Techniques for practicing outcome detachment are essential for fostering a healthy relationship with our goals and ambitions. One effective strategy is setting realistic goals, which involves acknowledging our limitations and the unpredictability of circumstances. This pragmatic approach encourages us to set objectives that are challenging yet achievable, reducing the likelihood of disappointment and facilitating a sense of accomplishment even in small victories. Celebrating effort rather than outcomes is another critical technique it involves recognizing and appreciating the hard work and dedication invested regardless of the result. This mindset shift helps build self-esteem and resilience as it places value on the process and personal growth rather than just the final achievement. Finally, adopting a flexible mindset toward achieving objectives is crucial for outcome detachment. Flexibility allows us to adjust our strategies in response to unforeseen challenges and opportunities, reducing resistance and frustration when things don't go as planned. It signifies the understanding that there are multiple paths to success, and being open to change can lead to unforeseen but equally valuable outcomes. These techniques collectively foster a more balanced and fulfilling approach to personal and professional pursuits. By focusing on the aspects of our goals and efforts that are within our control, we can reduce stress and anxiety, increase satisfaction and resilience, and ultimately lead more productive and positive lives. Lesson 10, Foster Resilience. Resilience is often described as the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. It's a form of mental toughness that enables a person to bounce back from setback, challenges or failures. However, it goes beyond mere recovery. Resilience embodies the ability to resist being worn down by external pressures, maintaining one's core purpose and integrity despite facing adverse circumstances. This crucial trait allows individuals to adapt to stress and adversity without letting them derail their progress or well-being. It involves a dynamic process of positive adaptation where challenges are seen not just as obstacles but as opportunities for growth and learning. Resilience is not an inborn trait but a quality that can be developed and strengthened over time through conscious practice and mindfulness. The significance of resilience in sustaining a clear mind and steadfastness, especially when confronted with attempts to manipulate, cannot be understated. In a world brimming with uncertainties and challenges, individuals frequently encounter situations that test their convictions and tempt them to veer off their chosen paths. Manipulative forces, whether in personal relationships, the workplace, or broader societal influences aim to sway our decisions and actions away from our true selves and values. Resilience serves as a protective barrier against these forces, empowering individuals to retain their autonomy and make choices that align with their integrity. It enables one to stay focused on their long-term goals and values rather than being swayed by short-term gains or pressures. 
This mental toughness is crucial for maintaining a clear mind. It allows individuals to discern their own thoughts and feelings from external influences, ensuring that their actions are driven by their own values and aspirations. Furthermore, resilience fosters steadfastness, providing the mental and emotional stability needed to stand firm in one's decisions, even in the face of strong opposition or manipulation. This steadfastness is not about stubbornness or inflexibility. Rather, it's about having the inner strength to remain true to oneself and one's path, even when external pressures seek to push us in different directions. Thus, resilience is a key component in not just surviving but thriving in an environment filled with complex pressures and manipulative attempts. Building resilience is a crucial aspect of navigating life's challenges effectively. One of the foundational strategies for building resilience is maintaining a positive outlook. This entails focusing on the silver linings and learning opportunities present in every situation rather than dwelling on the negatives. A positive outlook encourages a growth mindset where challenges are seen as chances to grow and develop rather than insurmountable obstacles. Engaging in regular physical activity is another vital strategy. Exercise is not only beneficial for physical health, it also plays a significant role in improving mental health. Physical activity releases endorphins, the body's natural mood lifters, which help reduce stress and anxiety. It also promotes better sleep and increases self-esteem, both of which are important for maintaining resilience in the face of adversity. Cultivating a strong support network is equally important. Having people you can rely on for emotional support and guidance can make a significant difference when facing challenges. This network can include friends, family, mentors or professional counsellors. A support system provides a sounding board for your concerns, offers different perspectives and can offer practical help in times of need. Together, these strategies create a robust foundation for building and sustaining resilience, enabling individuals to not only endure, but also thrive amid life's trials and tribulations. In today's world, where the flow of information is ceaseless and persuasive tactics are ubiquitous, arming oneself with stoic principles provides a robust framework for navigating interactions with integrity and intention. By focusing on what we can control, practicing reflection, setting boundaries, cultivating emotional intelligence and fostering resilience, we fortify our minds against manipulation. Stoicism teaches us not just how to withstand external influences, but how to thrive amidst them by maintaining our inner tranquility and purpose. Remember, the ability to remain unswayed by manipulative tactics is not innate. It is a skill honed through mindfulness, discipline and a deep understanding of oneself. Take these lessons forward into your daily life and witness the transformation in your interactions and inner peace. Now, we invite you to take the first step on this empowering journey. Reflect upon the lessons shared Identify areas in your life where applying these stoic principles could bring about significant change and commit to incorporating them into your daily routine. Share your experiences, challenges and successes with us by engaging with our community by commenting your thoughts on this video. Together, we can support each other in our pursuit of a more intentional, resilient and stoic way of living. Begin today and transform your approach to life's challenges and opportunities.